हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द चैप्टर लाइट रिफ्लेक्शन एंड द रिफ्रैक्शन चैप्टर इन द प्रीवियसली वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट साइन कन्वेंशन इन द केस ऑफ मिरर्स दैट इज स्पेरिकल मिरर्स कॉनकेव एज वेल एज कॉन्वेक्स मिरर नाउ टू फाइंड इट आउट दैट वी हैव टू नो द मिरर फॉर्मूला एंड एज वेल एज द मैग्निफिकेशन सो वॉट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग मिरर फॉर्मूला टू फाइंड आउट इन द केस ऑफ द स्पेरिकल मिरर्स to find it out that i am consider a concave mirror here so i will be consider a concave mirror you know in the case of concave mirror this is the center or the origin you are going to take it is the pole here and it is the principal focus and this is the center of curvature to understand this mirror formula i'll be taking an object here okay a object i am taking here and you know what is the roots we are going to find it out so one is when it is incident parallel to the principal axis it passes through the principal focus when it is uh, through the principal focus it is passing here and it the image will be formed here if the you know if the image is forming before that is in front of the mirror means then the image will be formed real as well as inverted image here so here you to find it out the mirror formula u is nothing but it is the distance of object from the pole here this is the pole here this is the object is placed here this distance is called it as u here u is the distance of object from the pole okay u is the distance of object from the pole here similarly v v is nothing but distance of image from the pole okay v is nothing but distance of image from the pole here so where is the image formed here image is forming here so this distance distance from the image to the pole is nothing but you are going to write it as v here similarly next f it is the these three terminologies we are going to use in the case of mirror formula to understand that we have to know what are these terms f is nothing but it is the it is the distance from the principal focus to the pole principal focus to the pole is called the f here so this from the principal focus to the pole is nothing but you are going to define it as small letter f here okay and you know in the case of f that is principal focus or the focal uh, point here this f is positive if it is only positive in the case of the convex it is positive in the case of convex mirror but it is always negative in the case of the concave mirror okay now what is the using these three terms what is the relation i am going to find as 1 by v plus 1 by u is equals to 1 divided by f so for your syllabus there is no derivation is needed only you have to know the a uh, formula for the mirror here that is 1 by v plus 1 by u is nothing but 1 divided by f here so you can simplify this formula in other way also that is you can take the lcm here that is if you take is v into u you will get lcm here in the numerator v plus u you will get is equals to 1 by f or i can write f value equals to v into u divided by v plus u okay this is another one formula you can use to find the principal focus here that is f is equals to v is nothing but image distance into object distance divided by image distance plus object distance this formula will not change in the case of convex mirror for the both concave mirror and the convex mirror the formula is same and obviously is the first example i have taken an object at some infinite distance i am consider wherever the object may be the object at the center may be the object at principal focus the formula will remains as it is for all the cases in the case of spherical mirror spherical mirror in 
includes concave as well as convex mirror. Okay, so now based on this mirror formula, there is another one formula to find out the magnification. Magnification is nothing but how much extent you are going to get the image. That means whether you are going to get the image in an enlarged form. Whether you are going to get that image in a diminished form, that you are going to find out by a formula here. So magnification is nothing but to the extent in which image is forming, whether it is an enlarged image or you are going to find it as a diminished image. So how you are going to find the magnification is magnification we are going to define it by the term small letter m that is equals to it is represented by the ratio of height of the image divided by height of the object okay magnification is nothing but height of the ratio of height of the image divided by the height of the object here so height of the image you are going to h you are going to represent for the height height of the image you are going to represent by h dash height of the object you are going to represent it by h here okay so what is the formula m will be equal to ratio of height of the image divided by ratio of height of the object here this magnification is also related to the object dis uh, that is the object distance u and as well as image distance v here so another one formula which is related to the distance is m is equals to h dash by h that is equals to minus v divided by u here v is nothing but image distance you know image distance you are going to represent as v and object distance you are going to represent as u here so h equals to these two formulas were very useful here either you can use this formula or you can use this formula based on what the things they have given in the question if they have given only object distance and object uh, that is image distance means then only you can find out the magnification by using this formula if they have given height means by using this formula you are going to find the magnification here so here why it is negative in the question uh, the negative in the formula it is there means because always the object Object distance will be negative. Image distance, it depends how you are going to get the image, whether you are getting a real image or whether you are getting a uh, inverted image or you are getting a virtual image. Based on that, you are going to find it out whether the value of V will be negative or positive. But in all the cases, in the case of concave mirror, in the case of convex mirror, the value of u, that is object distance, will always be negative. So that is why the formula here will be m is equals to minus v divided by u here. Okay, so this is how you are going to get the magnification formula. So this is the formula I have considered m is equals to minus v by u is equals to h dash by h here. Now if the value this h dash you know it is the height of the image. If the height of the image is greater than height of the object means then you are going to say the value of m. What is the value of m will be greater than 1 here. If it is value of m is greater than 1, that is if it is height of the image is greater than height of the object, then you are going to say image formed will be enlarged images formed here. Similarly, the for next thing, if the height of the image is less than the height of the object, then the value of m will become less than 1. So, the height of the image formed will be diminished. Okay, the image will be formed as diminished image. Similarly, the last condition here is if the value of height of the image is same as height of the object means the value of m will become 1 that is of the same size. So, if you got the value of m that is magnification 1 means then you are going to say the size that is the image formed will be of the same size. Okay, this is about the how you are going to find using the mirror formula and as well as magnification you are going to find the problems here. So now let us summarize what are the things we have discussed in the two groups. 
one is real image group and another one is virtual image group so it is applicable for both concave and convex mirror but you know in the case of convex mirror only the virtual image will be formed but in the case of real image that is in the case of concave mirror both real as well as virtual image will be formed here so in the case of real image real image is nothing but it is forming before that is in the front of mirror so in front of mirror the image will be formed that is the real image in the behind the mirror behind the mirror the formation of image will be it is called the virtual image the second point i can differentiate between real as well as virtual image is in the case of real image the value of v that is image distance that is v value will always be negative in the case of virtual image v value will always be positive because it is forming behind the mirror and it will be positive only next in the case of real image it is always it is inverted image will be formed that is reverse image in the case of virtual image it is forming the erect so you are going to say real and inverted virtual and erect here and obviously in the next point if it is real image is formed here means the next thing height of that image the height of the image uh, of uh, that is uh, h dash value h dash value will always be become negative in the case of real image and in the case of virtual image h dash value will always be positive because it is forming behind the mirror and it will be an erect image erect image is forming means it is upright image form so that is why the height of that image will be positive here so and then mirror formula for both real image as well as virtual image is same but in the case of magnification the value of m here so the value of m in the case of uh, real and in virtual image it also be same because uh, no changes will occur if it is real image if it is a uh, uh, virtual image the value of m will remain same in the case of real as well as a virtual image okay so these are the things you have to remember while solving the problems okay so in the next class based on these concepts we are going to solve the problems on the mirror formula okay so therefore this is for the today's class if any doubts is there we shall discuss in a live session thank you